After years of back and forth, the San Diego City Council approved regulations for short term vacation rentals tonight. The ordinance includes a cap on licenses, a lottery system, and extensive code enforcement. But as News 8's Abby Alford explains, there's still more work to be done before the measure takes effect next summer. For the past six and a half years, the San Diego City Council has been dealing with this short term vacation rental ordinances. They've passed one, there's been a referendum, and now there's a new one on the books. But there's still a lot of uneasiness about this lottery based system to get a license to operate. After more than six hours of public comment, the San Diego City Council voted eight to one to approve a short term rental ordinance. If that passes eight to one with Councilmember LaCapa voting no. The La Jolla council member wanted to add stricter amendments to the short term rental ordinance that includes a 1% cap of San Diego's housing supply. Estimates show it would cut rentals nearly in half with the goal of providing more housing and getting rid of party houses. But some don't think it goes far enough. They disrupt neighborhoods. They do not generate the amount of TO taxes that hotels do, adversely affecting our budget. Since Mission Beach has a long history of vacation rentals, they will be kept there at 30%. Kelly Kingston bought a triplex in Mission Beach to make some income and worries about the lottery based licensing system. I mean, it sounds like a crazy Black Friday. We're all going to be banging on the doors to try to get this license, but the stakes are so much higher. The council asked the city to review the lottery system and give priority to hosts with a good track record. I hope I get an opportunity to follow the rules because the absolute worst would be to have done everything right um, and then not even have a chance. But Many of the administrative regulations such as the lottery and how much the license per owner will cost will be hashed out by October. So much, but the licensing applies to a whole home rentals for 20 days or more a year. The money generated from the permits will go towards code enforcement. And if I look at Ocean Beach and the petty theft that goes on here, the cops can't even come for that right now. I don't see how you would enforce it. The ordinance is supported by home sharing companies like Airbnb and Expedia and Share San Diego. Mary Gloria also supports the new ordinance. The ordinance still needs a final vote by the council and it also will need approval by the Coastal Commission before it can go into effect July 2022.